It's event two of the 2021 Rose Lady Series from Woburn Golf Club. The players are taking on the Duchess course, which is the tightest of the three fantastic tree-lined layouts. Gabriella Cowley got her hands on the first trophy and £10,000 winner's check of the season at West Lanx last week. And she's part of a strong field at a venue that's well accustomed to welcoming the best golfers on the planet. It's hosted 60 professional tournaments, most recently the 2019 AIG Women's Open, which was won by Japan's Hinako Shibuno. Our first tournament this year, um, we've staged over 60 professional golf events at Woven. Justin Rose has won the British Masters here in 2002, so a lovely link there and we're really pleased to see all the girls back this week. All the competitors are looking forward to testing themselves at such a prestigious venue, including four-time major winner and World Golf Hall of Famer, Dame Laura Davis. It was great last year and I think all the girls were hoping it would come back and sure enough when that schedule came out it looks really good and great courses we play, that's the, that's the best thing for me that we go and play some really top courses and Wobens obviously fits right in there. Davis won the 1988 Board Ladies Classic here and it was also the site of her first professional start. So that, that was my debut on this golf course in 1985, it would have been sometime in April I imagine we played. Um, I thought I'd missed the cut, went home, made the cut on the number and came back to uh, finish the weekend off. I think I probably won about 120 quid and I thought I was rich. Following in the footsteps of Dame Laura 36 years ago, Jess Adams was also making her pro debut on the Duchess this week. I'm nervous but I'm so excited, like this is what we like wait for isn't it, all our amateur careers, so yeah I'm just really excited to start. She'll be dreaming of achieving just a fraction of what Davis has done in her incredible career. Megan McLaren has been playing on the Symmetra Tour in America at the start of this season, but didn't want to miss the opportunity to play the Rose Lady Series at her home club. I've been playing well pretty much all year, just trying to kind of piece together the scores, but it's, it's great to get to play kind of week in, week out, and you know, you pick up little things here and there. So hopefully that puts me in a good position. As a member, she knows what it takes to tackle the Duchess. You have to keep your wits about you, put it that way. It's one of the narrowest courses I think anyone will ever play. Um, it's going to be tough, but it's, you know, like I said, they look after the courses so well here that it's impossible not to enjoy it. I would guess if you're under par, then you can be pretty proud of yourself that, you know, there's, there's a lot of very good players here and, you know, you see every week on tour or on the row series that somebody will, will have a good day. It was a chilly morning, but the sun was trying its best to break through as the featured group of Davis, Cowley and McLaren headed to the first tee to get their rounds underway. There are 94 professional victories in this three ball, although to give Davis her due, 87 of those belong to her. Cowley and McLaren, though, do both already have Rose Lady series victories on their CVs. Two, in fact, for Cowley. Meg has a couple of top 15s in five events on the Symmetra Tour this year. The Dame and her playing partners are off in pursuit of another trophy today. Already out on the course, Gustafsson Spang rolled this one in for an opening par. All pars through the first six holes was an excellent start. Whitney Hillier had work to do for her par on the first, but she would get up and down and trade a birdie at the 326 yard third with a bogey on the par five sixth. Well worth a run to check out where that one finished. And there's someone who knows about running. Olympic silver medalist Chris Akabusi is one of the volunteers out there looking very happy with his sanitizing skills. Davis bogeyed her opener and scrambled for her par on two with this gorgeous little chip shot. Unfortunately, the drizzle began to fall and the 57 year old would bogey the fifth. Insi Mehmet had former European tour winner and Sky Sports broadcaster Rob Lee on the bag. It was a tough day at the office for the pair, but there was plenty of finesse on display to save her par here. The hail was coming down as Liz Young played a brilliant third shot on the first of the par fives. 
She'd already recovered from a bogey on two with a birdie on three before getting under par here. McLaren here at the first. A lovely little pit shot. And she would convert this six footer for a par four and then go double bogey, birdie, bogey in a roller coaster start to her round. Now the rookie Jess Adams at the difficult second hole. She's playing alongside LET winner Lydia Hall, and it's wonderful to see young pros given the opportunity to compete and learn alongside more experienced players on the Rose Lady series. That shot would be a real confidence booster after a bogey on her first professional hole. Plenty of reasons to smile as she finished in an encouraging tie for 22nd. Hall had just shown her the way with this stunning tee shot that would lead to a rare birdie on the second. She would get to two under through six before giving one straight back at the seventh. There's an international flavor to the early leaderboard with Welsh woman Lydia Hall at the top and Australia's Whitney Hillier, Sweden's Frida Gustafsson Spang and England's Liz Young just a shot behind. Out we go now to last week's winner, Gabriella Cowley, with what's fast becoming a trademark bobble hat, I think there. Well, that's beautifully judged. You can see just how much release there is on these greens. If you get above the hole, they are quick, but Gabs Cowley knew it and judged it perfectly. Laura Davies facing quite a similar shot here. What did she learn from her young playing partner? Good. Not quite as good, but still a very good chance to finish that one off. The Swede now, Gustafsson Spang. She's got herself in a little bit of trouble here at the par three seventh. That's nicely judged, but it shows just what can happen if you do get out of position here at the Duchess. Such a tight course and so little margin for error. Playing with Gustafsson Spang, Gemma Clues, who was runner up last week, she's looking to build on that, but it's not been a great start. This though for her birdie. Well, that's come up some way short. And a real battle there not to drop another shot. Let's go to Liz Young on the eighth hole. Second shot in here. It's a dog leg from left to right. So she's found a good position off the tee. Oh, that's a super shot. But it just catches that slope and edges an extra five or six feet away for her birdie. Gustafsson Spang, you can see the sunshine coming out now, a few shadows coming across the green. Her favourite course is Valderrama, so no wonder she's doing well here. But she won't like that, she's after it very quickly. These greens can just get in your head though, you leave one long early and then you struggle to get it to the hole the rest of the day. One over par now though is a good start. Meg McLaren for birdie here on the sixth. It's playing the third easiest, so it has yielded some birdies today. Oh, that one's just gotten away from her a little bit. Liz Young, she's still at even par, so going along very nicely. We saw this was where her second shot ended up and it's left her a slow one up the hill. Slower than she was expecting and still four feet to stay at level par. Laura Davis to finish off after that chip. That's a lovely birdie and she is back to one over par now. She's played in a remarkable 12 Solheim Cups. Great to see the volunteers out there as well, rake in hand. 
Gabriella Cowley, can she follow her experienced playing partner in for the birdie to join her on plus one? Absolutely, she can. Very well done. Cowley is one third of the way to a very nice bonus. If any player can win two regular events and the grand final this year, they will get £50,000. Now Liz Young to finish it off after coming up short. That's confidently rattled home to keep her at level par. It's a closely packed leaderboard with three at that score just behind them. Last week's winner, Gabs Cowley, and two-time LET champion Meg McLaren are firmly in contention a third of the way into their rounds. Things are really starting to heat up here at Woburn. The Duchess course at Woburn is playing tough with no golfers under par, but a packed leaderboard promises to deliver an exciting conclusion. This was Gemma Clues on the par 316. She's still five over par at this point, but this gorgeous tee shot would set up her third birdie of the day and she'd finish in a tie for 14. 33-year-old Lydia Hall fell away somewhat with bogeys at the 12th, 13th, 14th and 17th, but this well-judged pitch would enable her to tap in for a closing par and a round of 76. Germany's Laura Funstuck here. She finished one shot outside the playoff in last year's Amiga Dubai Moonlight Classic on the LET, and this birdie effort would catch just enough of the hole to secure her two on the way to a fourth-place finish. Chloe Williams was four over par after two holes, but she showed fantastic resilience to make the turn in three over par. This pitch and putt birdie at the par five tenth got her into the top five. Gustafsson Spang birdied nine and bogeyed 11 before tidying up her par here at the 13th. Unfortunately, she made another bogey at the 14th, which was playing as the fourth hardest hole. Also on the 191-yard 13th, Whitney Hillier, who had three top tens on the Rose Ladies series last year, found the putting surface with this fairway wood. Two putts from there for par kept her at three over, and she'd add a birdie at the par 5 15th. Meanwhile, Liz Young maintained her position with a run of steady pars from the 9th to the 13th, including this superb recovery after finding trouble down the 10th hole. The rain showers were really adding to the difficulty, but she had her husband Jonathan as caddy to help keep her dry. She dropped a shot at the 14th and found herself out of position again on the 16th. This delightful effort and a solid putt helped her salvage an important three. Those battling pars for Liz Young have given her a one-stroke advantage at the summit, but there are five players queuing up behind her on plus two. Fumpstuck has the clubhouse lead with a 75. On a day when the weather could not make its mind up, the sun was shining again as we join Young in the 17th fairway. That's a super shot. It's a really elevated green there, so she's done well to get that to stop as quickly as she did. The 16th measures just 149 yards on the card, and it's the stroke index 18 for the members, so you're expecting a good opportunity to make a birdie. But as you can see from the slope I'm walking up here, and these bunkers, front right is dead. And any tee shot that misses the green, especially short, could get you in trouble. Now, clubbing isn't as easy as you might think either. These trees that surround the green, they can make it look a lot shorter. But if you can find this putting surface, there's every chance you can make a birdie here late on in your round. McLaren on that 16th tee. She's at plus four, so really needs to pick up a couple of shots coming in if she does want to make any impression at the top of this leaderboard. She will have a chance there from the apron of the green, but it's a good 30 foot. Playing with her, Laura Davis. 
She's had a tough day, seven over par. But great to see her out here with the younger ladies as well. And she shows her class there, an absolute dart. She's just inside McLaren for her birdie. Whitney Hillier now to get back to plus one and apply some pressure to her playing partner, Liz Young. It's never easy to putt through the dappled shadows like that. And again, just another putt we're seeing pull up two or three feet short. Can McLaren capitalise on a solid tee shot? A little bobble there. Go on, go on. Yeah. But no matter, that has dived straight in the centre of the cup. McLaren is back to plus three. Very happy with her work, and why not? Can Davis follow suit? She really needs it. Oh, not quite to be. No birdie for Laura Davis. She played four Rose Lady Series events last year, and it's great to see the seven-time LET Order of Merit winner supporting the series again this year. Liz Young, this would be huge if she could drain this. Oh, and she does. It just wriggles in on the left edge. That's a fantastic move with just one hole left to play. She is back to level par. Is that going to be the winning total? Chloe Williams on plus two. She's been in really good form. Super consistent last season on the LET. Made all eight cuts. Showing why there. That's a nice touch from the thickish rough. Liz Young into that 18th now. A par could well be enough for her here. Oh, that's clipped a branch though, and that's come down some way short of the green in the thicker rough. And all of that putting surface is going to be sloping away from her for the third. The door's ajar for Hillier now. Oh, she's found the center of the putting surface and a two shot swing here would have them finishing on the same score. Back to Williams on plus two to get within one of the lead here on the 15th. And in it goes. Like last week, she is hanging around just a shot back. Hoping for a better finish than we saw at West Lanks where she had a triple bogey seven on the 18th. What can you do, Liz Young, here? This is treacherous. Oh, that is absolutely sensational. Wonderful judgment of trajectory and spin out of the rough. That should be the simplest of tappings for her par. Whitney Hillier with the long birdie try. Again, she comes up short, though. We have seen that a little bit from her today. She just hasn't quite had the pace of these greens here at Woburn. This to shoot 74. Oh, that is the filthiest of lip outs at what looked like dead weight but still a good round of 75 from Whitney Hillier she's trending quite nicely at the start of 2021 this tapping is young potentially for the victory Oh, 72 is a really good round of golf out there. Difficult weather conditions, the course playing long, quick greens. Someone's going to have to do something very special on their closing couple of holes if they're to catch that. 
Liz Young has one hand on the trophy with that birdie par finish, but Williams still has a chance to catch her from two behind with two to play. This is how the full schedule looks for this year's Rose Lady Series. There are 11 events at fantastic championship courses right across the UK. Royal Birkdale jumps out there on August the 3rd, and we visit Justin Rose's home club North Hants in September with the final at Bearwood Lakes. Now to McLaren on the 18th. She's had a fabulous drive to get to this position, really opens up the hole. Oh, that's super straight at the flagstick. And she will have about 12 feet for a lovely closing birdie. Chloe Williams playing steeply up the hill here to the 17th green. That was her third shot, but it does look like she can escape with a par. Now, how will Laura Davis finish off? What's the legend got for us out of the greenside bunker at 18? Well, she's got an absolute touch of class. That is a fantastic way for her to finish off. This needs to go in for Williams and hope for a prayer on 18. It does. We've seen funnier things happen. If she can hold her second shot, we'll go to a playoff. But that's asking a lot, isn't it? <laughs> McLaren now to finish off with a birdie to get back to two over par. Oh, she rolls it in. A fantastic finish there. Birdie on 16, par on 17, birdie on 18. And that gets her up into that tie for second. Williams actually missed the green with her second at 18 but she got up and down to complete an excellent one under par back nine. She can be delighted with a runner up finish this week following her disappointing final hole at West Langs. She's going to be one to keep an eye on this season. But it's Liz Young who is a very worthy and immensely popular champion with an impressive level par 72 on the demanding Duchess. McLaren and Williams finished two shots back at the checkered flag. It was a special victory for Young, whose efforts to put on an event at Brockenhurst Manor last year were the catalyst for the Rose Ladies series. Dream come true, obviously last year setting it up and now my first professional win is in the Rose Series event, so I mean, yeah, amazing. The win was sealed with a quality pitch at the final hole. Pitching to 18, I've been re working really hard on my pitching and chipping over the winter and to do it under the pressure knowing I had to get up and down, it was really a big, big deal for me. And there was a lovely congratulatory yeah. phone call from Justin and Kate. Congrats Liz, <laughs> great win. Thank um, you. That's it from a tricky Duchess course here at the beautiful Woburn. Well done to Liz Young on that fairy tale victory. And we will see you next week from Liz's home course, Rockenhurst Manor.